Saturday night, MPL football at ABD Stadium as Hume City take on the Melbourne Knights, which shapes as a big early season game for both clubs. Um, both and it gives us a good opportunity to go through the lineups as the sides are about to come onto the pitch. So for Hume City, Michael Weir continues in goal. Zach Secunda, Blair Govan, Mille Temguia, Urson Kaya is the back four. Midfield of Jackson Morgan, Joseph Cognett and Nick Hegarty. Gideon Sweet and Brad Blumenthal in for his first start in a Hume City shirt in the league will be on the wings. And Attila Offleys, four goals to him so far in the league. He leads the line for Hume City. On the bench is Jan Tapia, Darby, Darby Dexter, Benjamin Levitikos, Oliver Kubale and Michael Trocheski. So such a young bench for Hume City. For the visitors, the Melbourne Knights. Harry Chakarun continues in goal. They're going to be playing three at the back tonight with Aidan Bryce, Tomislav Uskok, and Nikola Jurkovic as the three defenders with the two Jurcic boys as wingbacks, Luke Jurcic and Nicholas Jurcic. And in midfield, Marjan Switkovic, who's really enjoying this midfield role at some, uh, Melbourne Knights this year with Anthony Desic. And in front of them is Brody Taylor, and the attackers are Nate Foster and Kim Harris. And a great opportunity for Offley to continue the goal scoring run. And we're away at ABD Stadium. Hume goes straight back to Michael Weir. Long from him. Offley offside, but Hegarty's not. Hegarty will be the first one to it. Skips away from Yurkovic, gets the shot away, and it's just wide. Shouts for a corner from Nick Hegarty. Not heated. Pretty similar position where he found Yurkovic in round one against Oakley. Switkovic clips the ball in. Dangerous area. Harris up, and it's in the back of the net. The second header. Hume couldn't clear it, and it looks like it's Brody Taylor who came in at the near post. And it's Brody Taylor to get his first Melbourne Knights goal. It was flicked on by Harris. It was going to go wide. Taylor was the first one to react. He got there first and headed the ball home. Melbourne Knights now on the ball. Uzcock to bring the ball forward. Foster is onside. And he makes a good run on the right wing. Harris in front of him. Counter attack by the Knights. Corner of the box. Foster fires it across. Trying to get a head in there was Harris and Taylor. And the ball goes out for a goal kick. Who picks himself up from that challenge and now takes the free kick and goes back to Chakarun. It's poor ball. Chakarun was able to slide and clear it. And gets the ball back. Switkovic pokes it looking for Foster. It's cut out. And Switkovic was fouled. After he made that pass, it was cut out, and Morgan's going to go into the book for a late challenge. And another dangerous position, this time on the left-hand side. Fairly similar. Switkovic to move the ball forward. Crossfield ball from him. Will it sit for Blue Menthol at will? Blue Menthol first touch takes it past Jurcic. Blue Menthol in the box, lays it off to Offley. Gets in a tangle, but still was able to put it in the back of the net. Hume City reply. The Melbourne Knights defence fell asleep. Great work from Brad Blumenthal and it looked like Attila Offley wasn't sure to go at the left or the right foot and in the end he just sort of fumbled the ball into the back of the net pass Chakarun. The two centre backs just go a little bit more narrow. Long ball looking for Harris. He's going to chase. He'll get there Kim Harris first. Harris trying to get the shot away. Lays the ball back. Taylor. Brody Taylor. A long ball from the back and Hume City fall asleep themselves. Tim Guia got in a tangle for Harris who never gives a ball up and he lays the ball on an absolute plate and Brody Taylor has a double for the Melbourne Knights in the 40th minute of this game. It's three on three at the back for Hume City. Blumenthal takes on Jurcic. Goes again. Gets inside the box. Well done Brad Blumenthal. Cuts it back for Hegarty. And Nick Hegarty puts the ball wide. There's it's halftime at ABD Stadium, a game which saw the Melbourne Knights take the lead early in the 12th minute. It was Brody Taylor with the ball. We'll just put that aside for the moment. It is the Melbourne Knights in white to kick off the second half. And straight away, Desic plays the ball wide and the wind will take it out for a throw. Now as Attila, Offley won't get on the end of it, but Blue Menthol's got another opportunity. Heavy touch from him. 
Chakaroon comes out and collects. Again, backs into Secunda. Secunda pokes it away from him. Jurcic now Foster again, corner of the box, turns inside. Plays the ball forward, looking for Harris. Foster, it's in the box and Hume through Govan clear. It's going to be Nicholas Jurcic from range. Fires it, falls to Harris, and Harris is offside. His shot is over the bar anyway. Ball was left. Sweet's got an opportunity to chase after Jurcic. Jurcic goes back to the keeper. And Chakarun gives it up. It's going to be Hegarty to pass the ball in the net. Wow. The goalkeeper's made the mistake as Harry Chakarun scuffed the clearance and Nick Hegarty for his second goal of the year was able to just to pass into an empty net. And they shoot themselves in the foot again, the Melbourne Knights and Hume City just after half time level things up at two goals apiece. He's got a bit of room to move forward. Plays the ball forward, looking for Harris. Harris, in fact, Switkovic will get there first. Clip it back to Harris. Kim Harris. Melbourne Knights get the lead back again. All on his own. Kim Harris from near the penalty spot. And the former Hume City man gives the Melbourne Knights the lead back again. It was Switkovic with the, the assist again. Cuts the ball back. And Melbourne Knights, well... After Hume City got level only in the 48th minute, the 50th minute, the Melbourne Knights hit back. Another We're thought about coming, the wind held it up. Govan up in the air and it's going to be a foul against Brody Taylor with a high boot as Blair Govan tried to clear that. He backed away from it and the Melbourne Knights win that header and they stream them forward. Uzcock goes over, Morgan, second yellow card. Jackson Morgan will see red. It was a needless foul from Jackson Morgan, already booked. We've got three numbers forward. Tim Guia, another heavy touch from him, gives the ball up. Desic, it's two on two. Desic plays it to Foster. Too much on it. Foster goes over. Referee says no penalty. Foster, he's signaled him that he went down a bit too easy. So Chakaroon holds on to it for his whole six seconds, and it's a poor clearance, but lucky for him, Uzcock will play it to Desic and Switkovic, and they get out of trouble. Switkovic with an excellent ball, looking for Foster, and a sliding challenge on Switkovic will be penalised. And a yellow card to the young man who's just come on, Mitchell Trucheski. Michael Wee got there before Foster, so the referee brought the ball back in this season. Long ball looking for Hegarty. It's gonna find Hegarty too. He's got two numbers. Jurcic does well to come on the blind side. Now the ball finds, it's Brad Blue Menthol for Hume. It's away, Trichesky cuts the ball back and Hume get a goal. Brad Blue Menthol scores. The Melbourne Knights had three or four chances to clear it and Hume City eventually get the ball home. It is Brad Blue Menthol who's been a real star of this game for Hume City and he gets his first NPL Victoria goal after crossing from State League One in the southeast from Malvern City. We've already seen a red card in this game. The goalkeeper does have his yellow card out and Michael Weir has been yellow carded. We didn't really see him in these, the little exchanges. It was Jurkovic and Govan, the two antagonists. Big reason why we've seen so many mistakes. Offley flicks it over the top. Trojeski with the chest, it's a heavy touch and Chakarun collects, and Chojeski pushes away his man. He will get a yellow card, and he will also be off. That's a second yellow card to Mitchell Chojeski. There's no need to do it, and Hume City will end this game with nine men. As the whistling from the Knights fans in the crowd. Leviticos cuts inside, foul by Purcell, and Purcell will go into the book as a late flurry of cards. And surely Hume City have one final chance from this set piece that Nick Hegarty will be over. It was a late drama. 96 and a half minutes. Hegarty in, it's too deep. And Chuckaroon will see it out for a goal kick. Referee blows full time here at ABD Stadium. And what has been a classic. It is Hume City 3, Melbourne Knights 3. So that's the way it ends here on FFE Radio Saturday Night Football. And my name's Chris Gleeson. Thank you for joining me in coverage tonight.